you guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna be doing part two of my day to night makeup. Um, the first one was with a bright red lip and I will link that one below. And then this one is obviously a very smoky eye. I just wanted to show how quick it can be to go from day to night if you're in any kind of a rush. Um, I really don't think it's necessary to redo all your makeup. Let's jump right in. First, I'm gonna start with my eye makeup and then if there's any cleanup that we need to do, we'll do that. And then I'll just go on and touch up anything that needs to be touched up from earlier today and just do a nude lip. I'm gonna start with probably my favorite shadow. This is Mulch by MAC. It's this one right here. It's kind of a brown bronze color and I love it. So I'm just gonna put it all over my lid with a flat brush. This is, oh, I don't even know who this is by. Oh, this is by Sonia Kashuk, who is a makeup artist who has a line of brushes at Target and they're actually really good. Just put that all over the lid. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my MAC 217. Do I want to do a bit of a winged smoky eye? Also, I would almost just leave it like this and do a little bit on the bottom. If you're super strapped for time, just use one color and just put it on the bottom like that and you're done. Literally takes 30 seconds, but I'm going to do a bit of a more complicated look. Well, not complicated, but just a few more products. So then I'm gonna go in with a chocolate brown shadow. This is from the Giorgio Armani palette. It's this color right here. And I'm just gonna put that through the crease. Add some dimension. Clean fluffy brush. Buff out. I'm just gonna make sure that I get it in the corner there because I want it to be a little bit winged. Ever so slightly. I've been, <laughs> I've been watching The Crown on Netflix. So now everything I say is with a slight British accent. That was awful. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna use black just for a bit more definition. Um, you can use any black shadow. I'm just using the one that I have right here. It's by Giorgio Armani. I'm also watching Medici. <laughs> so I've got a lot of European accents going on in here. Not very good ones, I might add. So just put it through the crease and wing slightly. I still want it to be a soft smoky eye. So I don't want it too black. And then again, with the blending. This black shadow is pretty intense. We'll do a bit of cleanup before I touch up everything else. If you don't like the way your shape is going, you can always just kind of guide it a little bit with a Q-tip. So I want it to be slightly elongated. This is clean, by the way. 
feel like such a broken record. And then I'm gonna use a little bit more of the mulch just for a bit of sparkle. We already put some mulch along the lower lash line and I'm just going to go in with a teeny bit of the black on my Charlotte Tilbury smudger brush and just do it on the outer half. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Try not to do that. Blend out all those edges really well, even along the bottom. You can use eyeliner. I'm gonna use just a little bit, but I don't want it to really look like I'm wearing eyeliner. This is a pretty intense eyeliner. This is L'Oreal Colorish Le Cajal. And I'm just gonna do it along my top waterline. I know this looks super weird and creepy. I don't know if you can even see the difference, but it definitely is more intense. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put on another coat of mascara. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit with a Q-tip or a cotton bud. Just any fallout under the eye. And just make sure the shape is exactly how I want it to be. Oh, some got up there somehow. some concealer. Don't need too much because I was already wearing some earlier today. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer, just a touch. And highlighter as well. This is, again, my Charlotte Tilbury. Just right on the cheekbone. And I'm also gonna take a small eyeshadow brush and put a little bit right in the inner corner. Touch up brows if you need to. You don't want a super strong brow just because your eyes are pretty... Well, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I don't want a super strong brow because we're doing smoky eye. So I'm just going to spot conceal anywhere that needs it. But I don't want to reapply foundation or anything. It's not really necessary. And then if you have a long night out, you can set with some powder. This one is Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is shade number two. I really like this powder. And then you can just set wherever you don't want shine. So pretty much just in your T-zone and then your makeup won't go anywhere. And then I'm just gonna go in with my trusty Annabelle gel liner. This is in Nude Attitude.
I'm just gonna do just a touch of blush. So I actually want it to be slightly paler. I'm just gonna go in with the smallest amount of concealer. There we go. That's better. That's better. That was a reference from The Office in case you didn't catch it. So that is kind of my classic smoky eye for a night out. I love doing these videos and I really hope you guys like them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.